Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Local manufacturer ATS 2000 is the first producer in Africa and the Southern Hemisphere to manufacture pneumatic lifting machinery that's able to lift more than 15 tons. Joanne Taylor reports. The machinery is designed for use by most industrial and mining applications. The industrial series lifting and pulling hoists have a low maintenance vein motor which allows for a 100% duty cycle with lubrication free technology and internal silencing. The hoists also have infinitely variable speed from a pull cord control system. All ATS 2000 THM hoists are fitted standard with a proven slip clutch type load limiter, which is robust and is the only type of load limiter to work on both lower hooks in a mining rigging application, where overload control and full power and lifting speed are required on both lower hooks. ATS 2000 MD Glenton Rebello tells us more about the air hoists in South Africa. To me the benefits of manufacturing air hoists in South Africa is creating jobs, uh, keeping capital within South Africa and also giving us then the opportunity to export and then for uh, earn export revenue. The air hoists are used in mines, in uh, shipyards, in petrochemical plants, on oil rigs, uh, anywhere where they need to do serious lifting and spark uh, can be an issue. Uh, those are the kind of places, heavy duty applications. Uh, anywhere in the world, any, any situation really. The, the local market of course, the US market, uh, Australia, uh, into Scotland and Europe as well as into Africa uh, where we are already selling uh, product into. We manufacture to the South African SAN 1638 as well as the American standards and Australian standards. Uh, we are in the process of co uh, getting compliance with the European spec. It's more a case of doing the paperwork uh, than anything else. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.